Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you're having a good day. Today we are continuing our playthrough of Ultimate General American Revolution. And yeah, last uh, episode we did a pretty good job of cleaning up the British uh, line, uh, British units, forcing them back uh, into their lines. It looks like the main British force now is in Fort Lovell. We'll, come, we'll head up here again, or sorry, Portsmouth. Yeah, we'll head up here again and just... Uh, to take a look again to see what they have there. I'm pretty sure it's about 3,000 men or 6,000 men. I think it was 6,000 in Portsmouth at the moment. Uh, we want to retake that. The other two things we want to do, we're going to move this force up from Fort Rice, take Hubberton and then across to Lovell. And then this force that we have in Leicester, it's going to come up, take Fort Stevens and Lovell, or Fort St Stevens, and then come across and take a help with this force to take Portsmouth. So that's what we're going to do. First off, we're going to go ahead and start getting these guys mo moving to Fort level. So let's get four out and get them forming into a brigade. I guess it would help if we get playing. Now, this will probably be our last episode. The other thing I wanted to do is get these guys out, leave port, and have them uh, start looking for some shipping because this will be probably our last episode in this playthrough for a little bit until they drop the 1776 campaign. Everything I'm going to do today, I'm going to try and get done before July hits because like I said, I have a feeling of what the next bit's going to be. Historically, uh, the British started landing troops in the New York region uh, right at the beginning of July, really late June, early July is when they started landing uh, forces on I think it was it was I think it was Long Island because that's really where the first battles of New York really started happening was uh, on the long in the Long Island area and then of course Washington retreated to Manhattan if I remember correctly I'm not as good with my Revolutionary War history as I am with my Civil War history but I'm pretty sure that's what happened and of course everything happened we get the Battle of Trenton a little while later as Washington crosses the Delaware on uh, Christmas. Yeah, it was Christmas into Boxing Day. And so I get the feeling that's when the 1776 campaign is really going to kick off for the, uh, or when it's really going to expand the map. But they haven't, to my knowledge, released the 1776 campaign uh, at the time of this recording. So. This will probably be the last episode of this playthrough. I'm not going to leave this game. I have a few ideas of what I'm going to do. Uh, in the meantime, while we wait for that 1776 campaign to drop. But, for now, we're going to focus on trying to clean up the British. Take Portsmouth back. And then, like I said, I doubt if I'm going to be able to move up the coast just yet. Because, like I said, I am going to... We only got about a month to do what I want to do, so... That is the order of operations for today's episode, so let's get going. So we're going to probably take things a bit slowly as we try and, of course, do all this. Come on. I hate that you have to pretty much keep clicking. Let's get these guys out. As well. Get them formed up into a brigade. So, oh, it's up to 7,000 men in Portsmouth now. Not really sure what's going on. Why aren't you guys joining into a brigade? Thank you. Now they have about 900 men in Fort Stevens. That's okay. We'll get these guys moving out and start heading up into uh, Hubberton. Not sure why these guys aren't forming. Come on. Let's get these all going. More than likely what's going to happen is these troops at Fort Stevens probably are going to fall back. So maybe I only send one unit in. Okay. And we'll get them marching up towards Hubberton. Arnold up there as well. Now they have about a thousand men in Fort Stevens. So 
it may not be a battle that they actually retreat from. Oh, we do have something going on down here. Oh, we have a third rate. And this is definitely a battle we are going to take. Because we do now have two fifth rates with a lot of men. Actually, a lot more men on it than this third rate. So we should be able to beat this ship. Alright, so we're going to try and get this third rate. We're definitely going to set everybody to grape shot. Of course, we're going to be heading into the wind. Basically, we're going to let him make the first move to decide what we're going to try and do here. Looks like he's turning into the wind. Oh, that's not good. We already lost both masts on the happy lad. What we're going to try and do is make contact with the Havana and get him to dock the hat and then transfer the crew from the happy lad if he doesn't get destroyed here. Maybe even try and get the Naya to dock his with him as well. Probably just gonna have to do unload them all. Not sure what he's doing. Slow down. All right, we're looking like we might get contact. Guys up here, it's bored with the Havana. Come on, get up there. You should sure get this. Took her. Took a lot. I don't know if we're going to be able to recruit a happy lad. But we're going to immediately get everybody back. Let's make sure we actually have a pretty good sized crew. And then we can disengage. And unfortunately, because of the bug, 
Unfortunately, we lost a happy lad to do it, though, but I got a third rate, so that's all I really care about. So let's go back to the global map. It took a lot of crew to do it, but we did it. We finally have our first third rate. And let's make sure we get these guys back to port. I'm not sure what that other ship is. It's another third rate. Alright, but we got back to port in time. Thank, thank the Lord. So yeah, we had to lose, unfortunately. The uh, lucky lad, but we actually got a three-star third rate out of it. I would have rather the bigger one, because I think there is actually a bigger one. But we'll take what we can get. Now it's going to take some time for them to... Looks like they are bringing over forces from Portsmouth. To deal with my advance. Let's get these guys moving back towards Hubberton. So let's see. They now have... This will be a, actually a pretty good fight now for Fort Stevens. We are actually outnumbered. So what we might do then... Let's bring up... Let's get them all in a brigade. Bring up some regular army troops. Well, Morgan takes Hubberton. Be interesting to see if they shift more troops down here, which would be fine by me. All right. Uh, we're talking France sending help to the Americas. Let's see what we got. We got ten three-pound gallopers. A thousand Charlevilles, that uh, there we go, and 200 ammunition, so that works for me. All right, let's fight this battle. Our cavalry wasn't in there, but oh well. Hopefully, the British don't run. That would be unfortunate. Unfortunately, it looks like they are going to run based off the balance of power. So, we'll just fast forward and yeah, back to the global map. We're not going to bother. That's unfortunate. It's okay, though. We'll quickly take Hubberton and then start shifting these forces to the uh, east. But yeah, they're going to retreat. Let's have Batty come up and take Hubberton. And we'll start moving these forces over the mountains. He's going to move on Fort Level. Or join the forces at Fort Level, I believe. Merriman needs to get moving again. Where is this? Massachusetts Bay. We need the money, unfortunately. We gotta keep paying these guys' salaries. Recruitment of low ranking officers. That's actually probably something we need to do, so let's assign that over here. Let's actually just spend the reputation to get it, because we are pretty low. We actually only have three more days. Let's actually just spend the reputation on that as well. Especially, and let's just spend the reputation all around on those three because they were so close we might as well so they we took Hubberton let's get him up here as well looks like they're moving them down so we might join up all of our forces down here we're looking like we're gonna have a pretty big battle on our hands wonder if these guys are going to be part of it if we move them close enough. Ah, 
it's so annoying that these guys stop the fight as soon as somebody comes out. Ah, uh, so that we're not quite in range. Hmm. Trying to do some math here. If we have enough forces. You know what, let's fight it. Let's just see what happens. Let's get some of these guys forward. Our skirmishers, that is. While we set up positions out here. Um, I want to hug this tree line, I think. Let me get him here. Actually, let's have him come out over here. We have him here. Combine some of these weakened units. Get him forward. I think that's all my weakened units. Now, what artillery is moving? He's moving. He is not. I might have him shift all the way to this flank. Actually, gonna have my guns hold fire for now. Thought I had him hold fire, but I guess I did not. Oh, I accidentally had him. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, jeez. I had so many of them get off their guns by accident. Set up some guys on the flanks. What exactly is he moving to? Him come over here. Him come over here. I don't want to spread out too much. I don't want to weaken my lines too much to deal with this. Let's get some guys over here for reserves. We do have this gun as well. Which maybe we'll make some room. 
have him come up as well. He's a big 12 pounder, I believe. Not three pounder. Usually it's, you can tell what size of the guns they are based on the, the little, uh, how big the icon is. Let's get some of these guys in reserves as well. set up some of our skirmishers on our flanks now let's just get everybody back playing this in slow motion at the moment just to make sure I have everybody in a good position I think I wanted him here unfortunately we had a surrender we don't usually see too many of those. Let's go along our lines, make sure we're in hold positions on all of our front line units. Where is he going? Why don't you just set up right there? Make sure you guys are more of a consensus right there. Just keep piling in some reserves. Let's combine those two units. Where are we light? Can we, no, we can't combine those two, unfortunately. These guys in the woods. Along with these guys, have all of our light infantry holding our flanks. I think we're looking okay. I'm liking the way everything is panning out over here. Make sure he's in the hold stance. Alright. Are these guys in holds? They are not. Let's get these guys up onto their flank. I guess it would help if we probably take all of our guns off silence now. Actually, yeah, let's get them right up there. Alright, I think all my guns are off silent. These guys doing anything? I don't think so. We'll just have them form another line of reserves to throw in. I don't know why you're trying to fire all the way over there. Fire with what's in front of you. Looks like they might have some mortars.
Uh, we have a pretty secure front, I think. We got a lot of artillery just bearing down on them. Skirmishers back, we just lost the group. Let's get some more guys over here, deal with these light infantry. get back. What are you doing? Don't be heroes. Looks like they're sending a lot of light infantry on this flank now. Form them up into one big unit. So they're getting in a hold stance. These guys should be up. Well, we've beaten back the initial assault, I would think. He said we got all this light infantry on our flanks, but they're not really causing too many issues. I think I'm actually going to switch bots here. I'm gonna get banded over here for now. Well, we have a break in the combat. Oh, they're starting to wrap around our flanks here. Put these guys in the reserves. Sure, what weapons these guys have that they're not really doing anything. Betcha they just have. Oh, they have hunter rifles. They should have had the range on the British there. Got some grenadiers in our front. Let's see what he does against them. He's still reloading. They'll, hit, they'll probably fall back before this 12 pounder is reloaded. Maybe? Ah, it would have been nice to be able to get some shell off and get in, into him. Some light infantry coming in. Let's do hold him back with this gun. It's just a three pound caliber, so it's not that big of a deal. Well, 
We'll preserve ammo for when the big assault comes. I'm assuming a big assault's gonna come. Get out of there. What are you going? You're militia or Minutemen. You shouldn't be going toe to toe with British light infantry. Eh, that's what I mean. And we'll extend our flank some more. That way they can't wrap around us. AI is making a critical error right now, and that's letting us, uh, just sending in these forces piecemeal. We have some light infantry coming in us at this side, uh, on this side. Some six pounders. Oh, come on, you can get a better sh shot off than that. Come on, get a good volley in. Break that entire unit. You can shatter them, go for it. Ah, uh, what are you doing? You're fully reloaded. You guys need to get out of there. Just come up here. What do you have? U.S. muskets. Should I just hold that in? Force them to come in range of these guys. Zarda flank looking fine. He's already running low. We're low, starting to run low on some ammunition, which isn't good because we still got to take the fort. And I'm sure the British probably have pretty good artillery, judging on how many units there were. But for now, we'll just let them keep coming at us. some of our guns for now. Conserve ammunition. Okay, yeah, we're starting to get some bigger units coming in. You guys don't have anybody too close to you, so I don't want you all wasting ammunition. You guys start firing some shots. Some bigger British units coming in. Don't target the light infantry. What are you doing? This is what we were waiting for. Here comes the big assault, guys. Get you back a little bit.
be really nice if you would fire. That ah, could have been better. Can't believe these guys are still dealing with these infantry. I'm not liking all these low ammo from our artillery. Yeah, they're completely out now. Target which coming right in front of you. Really? Get back on your guns. said why are you moving forward oh jeez where's bandit and all this let's get them moving on this side Let's move this gun battery to the rear. Our right plank's holding up pretty well. The middle definitely took a beating, that's for sure. And our left is sort of collapsing. British unit surrender, now we'll take that. Another shatter. Of course we've had a few of our units break completely. Really annoying these British light infantry. We're gonna 
pull back our line on our left. some time to get back to the lines. guys up here. Actually, we just routed two units. back into reserves. Get them moving on their flanks. Get these guys back. They got some high ground over there. Don't know if it matters too much, but... British are almost broken. We may not even have to go at the fort. can't combine some of these guys although I don't think it really matters at this point uh, I think they finally forced them to shatter forward with some of these guys see what we're going up against when it comes to in terms of British artillery take some of these fresh units Definitely have quite a bit of British artillery we still got to contend with. But we can do the thing of like coming at them from multiple directions. These two, no, they can't combine, unfortunately. guys over here just to defend them.
I say charge. Get in there too. Oh, this is annoying. I guess it might help if we. And there we go, we got the victory. And got them to surrender. What else do we have? We have this unit out here. We might be able to catch up with them. These guys should be somewhat rested at this point. Ah, of course. Try and break their artillery. That's annoying. Yeah, we're not going to catch up with them. Let's at least try and break this artillery. Broke their artillery. So there we go. That battle is complete. I feel like it was a pretty resounding victory for us. So yeah, they lost well over half their force, most of their guns, plus some captured. We we did suffer that one unit that got captured ourselves though. So that's unfortunate, but that was still a pretty good victory for us. Hopefully that didn't leave our forces in the Boston and Salem area too undefended. That's our regular army unit. Let's get him back to Salem. Oh wow, they took casualties. Hopefully we don't lose another. No, get out of there. You don't want it. Let's take a look at what Fort Lovell is now going to have. Let's see, Massachusetts Bay, I don't want to do that. We needed the money, but let's do raising funds really quick. We can do, oh, only... Oh, that's that kind of officer. I'm not too worried about that right now. Chief of Intelligence, what were we working on? Or we, no, we just finished something, didn't we? 
Uh, let's go with, well, let's actually go with this. I think this would be, oh, we really could work towards getting newspapers. That would help out a lot with loyalty as well. Actually, let's do deception operations. And we got our 12 pound field gun, so we can actually finally start making field guns. Let's actually start working on this so we can actually get mortars eventually. And then howitzers, of course, after that. Alright. I'm going to actually send Bandit back. I don't want him going that way, just in case. So we'll get him going back. So they have about 2,000 men, which we have more than enough to take them out. We took Fort Stevens. Let's get him in Fort Stevens. Oh, we didn't take all those supplies, actually. Dang, that was unfortunate. Probably, yeah, we're way more than we can actually hold in Fort Stevens. Alright, so yeah, they didn't move on us. So how, how much do they have now since they transferred all those troops? Just over 4,000. Loyalty in New York, let's not. I never did spend, I didn't actually uh, sell anything. So what do we want to start working on? We're actually going to work on this, because this actually gives us, or we can work on the Eastern Department, that actually gives us another general. Which, especially since we're coming up on, what we're coming up on, I'm assuming, as much as I'd love to get the first New Hampshire, I think I'm actually working on the Eastern Department to get that extra general, because we're probably going to need him here shortly. It's going to take a couple months. Yeah, we don't have enough money. Okay, so let's go up to the market. We did get all those Charleville's. Maybe we just sell all of them. Let's sell half. We don't really need them. Because we're producing our own. So we're good with that. We also need to come over to the production management screen. And we want to start building out some 12 pound field guns. So we'll probably take... I'd love to be able to rent another factory. That makes us... What? Oh jeez, it takes a lot. Let's cut down on... Wow, it takes a lot just to build one a day, doesn't it? Holy crap. Let's have one every, let's say, four days. That gives us 30 of those a day. We're still making roughly 10 a day of the hunter rifles. So yeah, that's fine. Every four days we get a gun. It, they definitely take forever, but it's worth it to at least have some sort of cannons. Let's leave the garrison. We're going to put everybody up in Salem right now. We might even have enough right in just this fort. With this force, my regular army, to actually take on Portsmouth. They don't have any cavalry. They do have some cavalry up here, so we will keep the cavalry over here. I'm going to wait a day. Let's see how many men do we have. So yeah, we don't have quite enough to take on Portsmouth with just our regular army units. But we do have quite a bit. Alright, so let's start getting these guys on the move. We actually have some promotions to divvy out. Uh, oh, it's because I selected the general too, huh? We don't want to give the British too long to 
Come on, form into brigades. Bolster any of their forces anywhere, really. And we'll form these guys up into one. Oh no. Dang it. And then, of course, our cavalry. What the heck? That's annoying. There we go. That was really annoying. Okay, so we have everybody. And you know what, guys? This is actually probably a good place to stop. It looks like we are going to get a few more episodes out. So we will stop right here and we'll play another episode. So you all have a good day. Thank you for watching, and as always, well, bye.